Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching Fantavision, and today I am discussing how I beat the copyright, well not how I beat it, I'm just telling you that I did, I beat the copyright claim on my video. Now, I don't know if it was YouTube that did it, it does not tell me, it does not tell me if Create Music Group actually decided, you know what, this person has a point, we're gonna remove the claim. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if YouTube heard about it. I don't know if you guys got in contact with somebody that could do something about it. But regardless, I want to thank you guys. Seriously, everybody out there that just watched it, liked it, shared that video, yelled at YouTube, yelled at Create Music Group. Everybody that made noise about an injustice that happened to me and has been happening to many other YouTubers constantly. I mean, this is not a new thing. I mean, all of Europe is about to have to battle this on a daily basis because of their whole Article 13 or whatever, that stupid bullshit thing that got passed over there. So this kind of proves my point when I constantly tell you guys, do not just sit there, do not take the injustices and the corruption and the greed just don't take it don't take it sitting down don't take it just without putting up some sort of a fight because that's what this channel is about it's about diving into the companies the experiences people that treat you unfairly and kind of diving into that whenever i'm discussing some sort of company or something that they've done wrong it's because i want these things to get better it's because i have a passion for these things i had many years of retail service i want to tell my experiences i want people to know that they're not alone i'm hoping that corporations maybe will see these videos and go well we don't want our employees to have this kind of experience or maybe somebody when they're shopping, they'll think the next time they, they even are about to treat somebody unfairly. They're about to treat somebody that works at these stores as a subhuman. And I've had people comment saying, you know, Fanta, I, after watching these videos, I realize I really do treat them differently. I treat people at the stores differently. And I've had people saying, that when the next time they go shopping, they're going to treat those people with more respect. And that is exactly what I want this channel to be doing. I want to be a positive change in this world. And I feel like I'm succeeding. And that's just great. I mean, with this, I really hope that once this channel keeps growing, I can help. I can be the person that can help other channels when they're in that kind of predicament. I want to be able to be in that sort of position. Right now, I have no idea what the hell happened, honestly. I don't know how I didn't get that copyright claim sticking on there forever because I've never seen a copyright claim go away before. I've never had one lifted, ever. So it's, it's really interesting to see that sort of thing happen. And if it was because of the video, if it was because of you guys... I think that proves my point. Even if it wasn't, it's it's another voice into the crowd of people that are talking about what's wrong with the way YouTube does what they do. And even if YouTube never changes this, the next platform will know what to do. The next platform will be seeing these videos, hopefully, will be seeing videos like mine, maybe not mine, like, I'm a tiny YouTuber. That's why I'm so surprised that this copyright claim even was lifted. I'm hoping it's never put back on, but the fact that it was lifted to begin with makes me think that the battle is over. I've won this battle. And because I've won this battle, I feel like many others that are in, you know, unfairly having their videos claimed can also win those battles. I mean, it's, it's going to be a long war, guys. 
this is not going to be something that's solved overnight. This is not going to be something that is solved by even a giant YouTube channel. I mean, H3H3 went through that giant legal battle. I know I discussed that. And I had originally forgotten which YouTuber did it, but it's H3H3. They, they did a reaction video slash comedy criticism video on another YouTuber's video. And they got in a legal battle over that. And they won. And that should have set a precedent throughout all of YouTube that reaction videos, criticism, parodies, stuff like that is in fact fair use. You shouldn't have to prove what's already, you know, kind of the law. And I know it's a little bit flexible. The law is a little bit weird. It's not worded perfectly. But, I mean, you get the idea of what it's supposed to be. And these companies really try to hone in on those loopholes like oh well you use this percentage and you're only allowed to use this percentage whereas fair use i couldn't find anything that gave a specific percentage i don't know guys i'm just happy that this worked out in the end that's really cool i'm hopeful like i said that in the future that this means if people do make a big stink about it they make a lot of noise Maybe YouTube or that company will hear them and reconsider what they've done. Because all you can do is try. And I'm so sick of people not trying or getting upset at people that are trying. I can't stress that enough. I know I've repeated that. and I know people are sick of hearing that. But that's exactly the problem is people get sick of hearing the same thing. And I get that. I do too, but I'll never click away from that video. I'll never stop watching those types of videos. I'll never stop supporting those types of channels that do that because if nobody's fighting, they win. And who are they? I know that's kind of a vague thing. They're the corporations. It's, it's usually the corporations. I mean, it could be the government. It could be anything. I mean, I was recently... No, I'll do a whole video about how... The whole net neutrality thing, it's just a nightmare. This whole thing that's going on and how... I, th I believe I heard it just got shot down. It had a second chance to go through, but that's that's another video for another day. I really need to dive into that more. I need to get more facts, get look at more articles about it. But man, there's, there's so many things that are important to fight about. And then I see these people... Never mind. That's like... I'm going into like podcast territory. I definitely have some ideas and I'm remembering some things that I forgot to mention in the podcast. And speaking of the podcast, the podcast should have gone up this morning and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy the podcast. It is available on literally everything. So if you don't have time to watch it, you can always listen to it in another tab or minimized or in Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher. I mean, it's everywhere. I mean, I look at the sources at which people are downloading it, and I have no idea what the hell half of them are. I don't know how they got there, but cool. As long as people are listening to it, as long as people are enjoying it, that's that's all I could ask for. That's awesome. I'm, I'm glad people are really enjoying the podcast because it's definitely a lot of fun to make. I love hanging out with Eric and just kind of shooting the shit, talking about what's been going on, what's on our minds, and it's a good time. I think this is actually the longest episode that I've done. I'm pretty sure it's the longest podcast episode. I'll double check. But I remember the file size. I think it was the biggest file size. So I'm pretty sure it's the longest podcast episode we've ever done. And when I say longest, it's like over two hours. So <laughs> if you're looking for something to listen to while you're at work or whatever, check that out. And I do want to thank the patrons, of course, because they're the ones that made the podcast possible. It's just, I'm just so thankful to you guys. I mean, you guys are the reason I have this camera and the reason I can pay for the hosting of the podcast and all that kind of stuff. And like I said in the podcast, I mean, even if you haven't watched it, I am working on another series. I'm going to have more time, hopefully, during the winter break. And this weekend, I'm going to start doing some more work on it about disappointing games. I'm going to be covering Battlefront 2, No Man's Sky. I might look into Call of Duty Infinite because that was one of the more disappointing titles out of all. I think that was the most disliked 
trailer of any Call of Duty ever. So we'll look into that. I just kind of want to take a dive into games that launched like garbage and then have attempted to turn around. Like Sea of Thieves just keeps adding updates, but is it too late? And I kind of want to answer that question about a lot of these games. So that's a new series that will be coming soon because of the patron. I know it's dipped down below that goal, but I still, I mean, it's so close to that goal. I still want to do it anyway. And I don't know, patron does a lot of dumb things whenever it hits like the end of the month. It just like keeps fluctuating and punch people's cards get de declined. So I'm not gonna not make the, the series just because it's having glitches. So that'll be happening, that'll be cool. And again, thank you for watching all these videos. Thank you so much for your support in any way you have. Just watching this video is supporting me and I thank you. It's It's been a hell of a year so far. And I know it sounds like I'm. this is like the last video of the year. It's not. I mean, there's a lot more videos coming out, but I just wanna say how thankful I am. And I feel like with this copyright claim being released, I feel like it's because of you guys. I really do. I'm giving you guys the credit for it. So thanks for helping me out. Thanks for supporting me. And as always, have a fantastic day. See you guys. For those of you still watching, I like to put fade outs. I don't know why. I mean, most of this video is just kind of off the cuff. Me just talking anyway. It's, it's what a fade out would normally be anyway, but... Some people do care about what I drink. And I left it till the very end for the people that really do care. Passion fruit LaCroix. I know people make fun of LaCroix and they make fun of me for drinking it. But, you know, I don't like soda anymore. It's too sweet. It tastes like you're drinking diabetes, like liquid diabetes. Like you're, you're drinking it and one of your, your fingers falls off. And you're like, that's, well, that's unfortunate. And I don't want that, you know? causes cavities, causes a whole slew of things with barely any good things about them. Like, even if you're looking to get caffeine from soda, it's not really that much. I mean, you might as well have an energy drink, which will actually have less caffeine than a normal can of soda. At least the things that I drink, they've got like 38 grams, I think, in a Red Bull. And you get way more caffeine. I normally like drinking coffee to get my whole caffeine fix, but over the weekend, I've been, I don't know, I just need to get more coffee and start using the coffee maker again. I need to stop drinking energy drinks too. But eh, two a week's not terrible. My, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Adam is just singing to something. I don't know. Anyway, this is going a lot longer than I thought. 